a lot of people were asking about what is the most efficient way to do role plays. And I want to give you a perspective because I truly believe that the health and the, uh, the quality of a role play lies with whichever person is playing the prospect. That's the person that determines the quality of the role play itself. Let me tell you why. Role plays are meant to be stressful. <laughs> Have fun. Yeah. They're supposed to be stressful. The best role plays are the ones where I am, I'm, I'm on the hot seat. It's in a meeting. Other people are watching me. I'm embarrassed if I say the wrong thing. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. Those are the best role plays because the role plays are supposed to be more difficult than the actual thing. Plot twist. This is why exercising is a thing. This is why before people go to battle, they go through training camps. This is why if you've ever watched any baseball game, you see that donut that they put on the bat and they're just swinging as hard as they can. That donut is extra weight to make it harder to swing the bat. So when they get up to the plate, is it, and they take the donut off, is it easier or harder to swing that bat? Easier. So the other day I was in a role play with a, a group of advisors and man, they, the, who, the people that were playing the prospect, man, they were just being so soft and they were just like coming around and oh, it's all happy to be a team. And I was like, all right, we're going to switch. I'll be the prospect. You're going to be the advisor. This person's on the hot seat. And I warned them before. I was like, this is going to be really uncomfortable. So like, let's go. And I was probably the, the meanest, most difficult prospect this guy's ever talked to in his life. He was literally like, his eyes were like this. I mean, he was like looking to the other advisors for answers. And I was like, who are you looking at? We're on a role play. We're on a call. Talk to me. I would have all these different crazy objects. That's the point. I bet you that was his worst sales call of the day. The rest of his calls throughout the rest of the way, throughout the rest of the day, I'm sure he felt like they were a cakewalk. This is how you want role play calls to go. The objective of the prospect is to be very difficult on the closer during that role play. That's how you want it. You want your role plays to be significantly more difficult than the actual sales calls you are taking. Otherwise, you're not getting anything out of it. This is the equivalent of going to the gym, grabbing those rubber fives on the end, just pumping pumping some quick iron, maybe three reps, and then checking your phone, texting some people, and then leaving. How much work is that actually going to help you with? Like none. So if, if I can give you guys any advice about your role plays, cut the soft role play bull. Make it difficult. This is what's gonna make you guys way better. Now, when you guys hop out of role plays, make sure you guys, you know, make peace, hey, I love and care about you. I was just being, I was just being a D bag because that's my job on as a, you know, in the role play, all that stuff. You can do that, but it's time to be, it's time to turn up the heat on your role plays a little bit. <laughs>